Do you know the maximum amount of aluminum that is injected into a child who follows the CDC schedule? Um, I haven't done the arithmetic, but it, I believe it would amount to several milligrams. Mark these. Mark these two. I'll mark this one. Um, I'm going to hand you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 36. Okay. Um, and before I do that, question for you. Um, the group out of the British Columbia that you were... The group out of the University of British Columbia, that's out of the Department of Ophthalmology and Visual Sciences? Uh, yeah. All right. And, uh, okay. okay. Well, uh, I'm going to hand you uh, a letter from what's been marked as Exhibit 36, which is a letter from... Um, one of the professors that runs the lab in that group. We have four minutes left on the desk. Okay. Um, have you seen this letter before? No. Okay. Uh, this letter is from the group at the University of British Columbia you mentioned before, correct? Yes. And it's uh, addressed to the to HHS, correct? Uh, yes. As well as NIH, <clears throat> yes. FDA, and CDC, correct? Yes. Okay. In the first paragraph, um, can you read the first paragraph? I am writing to you in regard to aluminum adjuvants and vaccines. The subject of one is one my laboratory works on intensively and therefore where I feel I have some expertise. In particular, we have studied the impact of aluminum adjuvants in animal models of neurological disease, including autism spectrum disorder. Our relevant studies on the general topic of aluminum neurotoxicity in general, and specifically in regard to adjuvants are cited below. Now, can you read the last sentence in the next paragraph? Um, in children, there is growing evidence that aluminum adjuvants may disrupt developmental processes in the central nervous system and therefore contribute to ASD in susceptible children. Uh, and, so, one, and just the next paragraph. I, despite the foregoing, uh, the safety of aluminum adjuvants in vaccines has not been properly studied in humans. Uh, even though pursuant to the recommended vaccine schedule published by the Centers for Disease Control, a baby may be injected with up to 3.675 micrograms of aluminum adjuvant by six months of age. And just the next sentence, and I guess we can wrap up. In regards to the above, it is my belief that the CDC's claim on its website that vaccines do not cause autism is wholly unsupported. So uh, my comments are, one, that my estimate was pretty much correct. Uh, second, that um, unfortunately, Dr. Shaw has been associated with um, the party that I mentioned before, uh, Tom Lidianovich, uh, who, uh, in my view, is completely untrustworthy as far as scientific data are concerned. So I'm concerned about uh, Dr. Shaw uh, being influenced by uh, that individual. And um, uh, the, um, I'm not aware that there is evidence that aluminum uh, disrupts de developmental processes in susceptible children. Uh, Dr. Shaw is a scientist that studies aluminum regularly, correct? Yes. Do you study aluminum regularly? No. Okay. We done? Yeah. Okay. This ends take four of the deposition of Dr. Stanley Plotkin.